roaring lion. In the heart of a lively forest, where the trees whispered tales to the wind and the sunlight painted a mosaic on the vibrant foliage, lived a lion named Sheru. Known for his magnificent roar that echoed through the treetops, Sheru delighted in scaring every creature in the forest. However, his unrestrained roaring soon turned the once joyful woodland into a place of misery, as every resident found themselves living in fear. The once playful animals ceased their joyful games, and the cheerful melodies of the birds were replaced by the somber silence that accompanied Sheru's roar. The vibrant spirit of the forest waned, and the gloom cast by the roaring lion settled over the once thriving community. In the midst of this disheartening atmosphere, a brave and playful monkey named Rinku caught Sheru's attention. Intrigued by Rinku's fearless demeanor, Sheru convinced him to engage in a game of catch. As the game unfolded, the intensity increased, and the forest creatures cautiously observed from the shadows, unsure of what might transpire. In a moment of unforeseen chaos, just as Sheru began his signature roar, Rinku, reacting instinctively, passed the ball with surprising force. The ball sailed through the air and to everyone's shock, lodged itself in Sheru's throat. Panic swept through the forest as Sheru struggled to breathe and the once fearful creatures were now united in their determination to help the troubled lion. The forest became a hive of activity as animals of all shapes and sizes rallied to Sheru's aid. With a collective effort, they managed to dislodge the ball from Sheru's throat. As the lion took a gasping breath, he looked around at the animals who had come together to save him. The gravity of the situation dawned upon Sheru, and he realized the consequences of his unchecked behavior. In a moment of humility, Sheru made a solemn promise to the entire forest. He swore never to roar unnecessarily again. The once miserable woodland now buzzed with a renewed sense of camaraderie. The animals, having witnessed the vulnerability of the mighty lion, forgave him and embraced the opportunity for a fresh start. The moral of the story resonated through the rustling leaves. One must not annoy the people around them just because it entertains us. Sheru, now humbled and aware of the impact of his actions, became a symbol of change in the forest. The once dreaded roar transformed into a respectful, occasional sound, allowing the harmonious melody of the forest to return. The enchanted forest, now freed from the shackles of fear, resumed its lively symphony. Sheru, along with Rinku and the other animals, engaged in games that celebrated unity and playfulness. The lesson learned from the roaring lion became a cherished tale passed down through generations, reminding the young ones to consider the feelings of those around them and the consequences of their actions in the magical realm of the forest. As Sheru experienced the profound change in the atmosphere of the forest, he realized the value of genuine connection and understanding. Grateful for the compassion shown by his fellow creatures, Sheru embarked on a journey to mend his relationships and build trust anew. The once isolated lion found himself surrounded by friends who were willing to forgive and forget. Sheru, determined to make amends, joined the animals in their various activities, from playful chases through the underbrush to sharing tales beneath the moonlit canopy. Each interaction became a testament to the power of transformation and the resilience of friendship. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more wonders, and let us know in the comments what topic you'd like us to tackle next. Until then, stay curious, stay wild, and we'll catch you in the next episode.